risky. I would have difficult days from everything you can think of. I would get up many mornings at three o'clock in the morning. I'm an early riser as it is. As long as I have my coffee, you guys, I am a-okay. I don't like to drink it black. If I have to drink it black, like, okay. As of now, day three, I have to say I am not loving it, but I'm getting used to it. I still want my lactate, you know, milk. Um, but so let's get back to that. So I don't, you know, go off a tangent. So I really, you know, I would get up at three o'clock in the morning, go to these markets, art shows. And many times people for the first two years would not even buy a book. It was so discouraging. I many times would just want to throw the towel in and say, I'm done. I'm over it. They don't like my book. They don't like my product. Maybe it's me they don't like. Maybe my message isn't coming across strong enough. Maybe it's not hitting home. Maybe I'm writing about penguins when I should be writing about cats. And, you know, this would go on for a good two years. I would call my friends hysterical crying, thinking I went into the wrong field, thinking I should maybe just get a full-time job. People would constantly tell me, oh, you know, you're wasting your time, you're wasting your money, you're wasting your effort. Why don't you just get a full-time job? You're putting way too many miles on your car. In the first two years, I put 80,000 miles in my car. I drove from every single city from Key West, Florida all the way up to Pensacola with my book. Then I even took my book out of state on a book tour. I went to Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Tennessee. So it was insane. There was many times, like I said, people would not even buy one book. I remember I even drove three hours one way for a book reading. Not one person bought a book. So I was like, what am I doing wrong? It was really discouraging. And then one day, you know, I said to myself, I got to keep going, got to keep trying, got to keep trying. I would constantly get people giving me negative feedback at markets, trying to give me their marketing and advice when they don't even have a business, trying to tell me how and what I could do better with my book when they never even wrote a book themselves. And of course, you know, little me over here, I'm like, oh, tell me your advice. What could I do better to market my book better? What am I doing wrong? And I heard everything from A to Z, you guys. And maybe I'm just someone, I guess, who's easy to talk to, but I heard everything. Everything. I heard, you know, maybe you should go to Toys R Us when Toys R Us is open, and you should go in the inflatable aisle and get a couch. And I'm like, okay, I'm listening. I'm like, alrighty then. And I have it in front of your booth. And I'm like, okay. This is, you know, a guy telling me this. And you're just really easy to talk to. Have it on your, you know, on the floor. And people can sit down and have like a chit chat with you. And if they have, you know, like an emotional time, you can have tissues, have Charlie on it, the penguin. I'm like, oh, that's a brilliant idea. I'm thinking to myself, what the heck? So I'm going to be like a therapist? I didn't go to school for that. I don't feel comfortable giving advice. I'm a children's author. It's a little different. I was like, thank you very much. Okay, moving on. I heard it all. I even heard, like, my book became a political thing. A children's book? Are you kidding me? P people, like, I heard it all. So, because my book, it, I have a sticker on it, it says Made in America, people were like, oh my gosh, you should have your book printed in China. And I'm like, uh, what? Why? I'm like, I want to support this country. People are like, yeah, but you can, you know, save more money if you go abroad. I was like, I know you could, but to me, it's really important to spend the money and employ the workers here in America. It's just really important to me. So that's how I wanted to do my business. I even had people when I said I was from Massachusetts, they were like, the liberals only buy your book. And I was like, what? What kind of comment is that? I was like, um, not that I'm aware of. I have, you know, Democrats, Independents, and Republicans buy my book. If you like penguins and, you know, kids and you're a teacher, mom, grandparent, you're going to buy the book. Oh my gosh, you guys, I had everything. The most funniest comment I remember I had from people was well, I guess it was not funny. It was more like sad. It was someone in a different state. I'm not going to say where, but they had a hard time buying the book for the child because they didn't even know what one of the words meant in my book. 
so they didn't want to buy it for their kid that was actually really sad than anything because they didn't want to have the kid know about the books that was really sad but I will tell you guys this no matter what you do the more success that is thrown at you you will get more and more haters but F it you know like it doesn't matter I think you should keep having success go your way because if people are gonna hate you for doing something good great as long as they're hating you for doing something great rather than doing something bad you know what's wrong with that people are always going to be jealous wherever you go in life you know if it's family members that are treating you that way well I would say you can love them from a distance you don't need them to be in your social circle you can't have negativity in your life if you're going to run a business if you're trying to shoot for your dreams go after your goals you just can't especially as an entrepreneur myself that was really hard for me because I didn't want to have, you know, negativity. Just like a hotel, you guys, right? There's only, say there's like 200 rooms. There's only so many they have that is occupied um, and so many that is vacant. You can only have like in your brain, in your mind, only so much negativity. So get rid of it. Be gone with it. So I only try to allow as little as possible. Sorry, no room not allowed here you can go you know give someone else your negativity so it just doesn't fly with me and I listen to a lot of motivational audiobooks as I think a lot of you guys know read a lot of self-help books business books as it does help to reprogram my mind and it just helps me to be like in a really upbeat positive mood constantly constantly so, um, if you're an entrepreneur considering being an entrepreneur, I say the time is now. The time is now to start your own business. It's better than ever. The reason I love being an entrepreneur is simple. It's this. Because you're your own boss. You can make your own hours. You can call the shots 100% of the time. And, you know, it's so rewarding. That's the biggest thing I would say it's so rewarding you know I started this so November 30th 2020 this year will be five years in business and it has been such a roller coaster such an emotional ride the reason I say emotional ride anyone who you know from the outside looking in if you have your own business I'm sure a lot of people will say oh that's so easy come on you can get that done how come you don't have time to hang out with me tonight how come we can't get drinks tonight how come we can't get dinner tonight how come you're always busy and you know doing that with the business you know anyone who has a business let me tell you this would never make a comment like that because success is not something that happens overnight so just remember that someone who has made it thus far would never make a comment that success or have your own business is easy because it's not there will be there will be a hell of a lot of bad days there'll be many days where you really just want to give up but then there will be days where you feel on top of the world incredible where you want to share your success with your family with your friends you want to go on Facebook live and say you guys I just sold 60 books to a company which I did and I am having the best day ever you know you want to share with your friends on Facebook that like Pepperidge Farm the NFL Eli Manning sign off on my book so that's actually what happened in this book Charlie takes a venture to New York we had a lot of um, big names sign off in it so we had Pepperidge Farm Bibble and Sip um, NFL Eli Manning Google Uber so you know if you put the hard work in it will pay off success builds on success Success is never by luck. Success is not given to someone, but I do believe the lucky people will inherit success, if that makes any sense. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget, keep shining, keep being a winner, and don't ever give up, and don't let the negativity get to you. No matter what you do, keep shining, and never let anyone tell you can't, and always dream big.